it's that time again. Something more came in the mail. It's not chips this time. Something more than just chips. I was really surprised when this package arrived. I thought I'd received all the packages I ordered. I was even more surprised by the fact that it was coming from Japan. So when I opened it up and I realized what it is and I remembered ordering it, I expected it to be coming from Great Britain. This is a kit created by Hans Summers, G0UPL. The QRP Labs Ultimate 3 transmitter. It's a QRP transmitter that does QRSS, which is really, really slow speed Morse code. And it also does WHISPER, which stands for Weak Signal Propagation Reporting. And of course, it'll do ordinary QRP Morse code. So it's going to be a great kit to build. Got the main kit here, and then I ordered a few extra low pass filters for each band. We got one for 40 meters, we got one for 20 meters, and I also got one for 17 meters. Let's take a look at what's inside these little little guys here. We've got some wire here and three little toroids. We get to wind. There's a page on their website that tells us how many turns I need to put of this wire in each of these little toroid rings to build the coils, the chokes. It's got four capacitors and uh, a few pins that go on this tiny circuit board here. They're all basically the same thing, but it's the capacitors that are different and the number of turns that are different for the low-pass filters for the various amateur bands. Here you see the components that came in the large bag. This is the main part of the kit right here. The main circuit board here you see is not terribly large. It's only about three inches long, maybe eight centimeters or 80 millimeters long. Not very big at all. It comes with its own LCD panel here. This is a 16 by two character display. Over here we have header pins that allow you to connect this to the circuit board. And then they've provided these nylon standoffs and little nylon screws that cinch the whole thing together so these kind of come together as a sandwich after you've assembled all the parts. The heart of the project is this little Atmega 328 chip. This is the same chip that's in an Arduino. So we have essentially an Arduino to control our AD9850 DDS module. This is a little board that you can purchase off of eBay for Oh, five or six bucks sometime. It, it's a frequency generator. It's a variable frequency oscillator. And you can generate any frequency from as low as like one hertz all the way up to 40 megahertz, which means you can actually generate RF from here. This is what gets your transmitter running and is used to tune the transmitter and to control this device you using software that's in the Atmega 328 chip. We have a couple transistors here, which are in the power amplifier, which will bring up the QRP signal to around 150 milliwatts. And we have some capacitors that go in the project. Another toroid here, we're gonna build one more choke that goes on the board. There's a couple switches and some headers so that we can connect various things to our device. So that's the project. You can find this kit at qrp-labs.com on the internet. As you can see right here, it's a pretty reasonable price for this kit. And the low-pass filter kits are very reasonably priced as well. I'll be looking forward to getting this kit built here in the next few days, tuning it up and getting it on the air. It's a lot of fun to check out the map on the Whisper website and see how far away my low-power signal has been heard. Watch for more videos in this series as I document the progress in this project. And hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.